Um, are you against the 18 plus rule for COD? I made a whole entire video on that, so you guys can go check that out. Um, when do you think COD will end? I don't think it's ending anytime soon. If I had to, if Black Ops 3 is a huge failure, it's gonna go downhill. But from the beta and like so many people are buying it, I think that the game's actually gonna be really good. Um, that's just off the beta, but um, if Black Ops 3 does end up sucking, I think it, COD will really, really, really be downhill. That's Strike 3. I mean, they're on Strike 2 right now. They had Ghost and AW, uh, both games that were terribly received by the community. So, uh, Strike 3, you're out. Um, we'll see what happens with Black Ops 3. Have you gone to any lands? If so, what did you place and when were they and where? Uh, if you plan to go to any more, and if you plan to go any more. Uh, by the way, bro, keep the vids up. Thank you, bro. Um, yeah, kind of. I, I went to one LAN in MW3 when MW3 first came out, but it wasn't like competitive COD. It wasn't like SND. It wasn't like MLG variant or anything like that. It was at this gaming shop that was like 20, 30 minutes away. And uh, a friend of my brother's actually went to the whole thing and they just needed someone. So I went and uh it was pretty cool we actually lost in finals it wasn't like this huge humongous land there was like 20 teams or something like that but it was fun it was a lot of fun it was like a whole entire day thing at this gaming shop and it was like i think five to six five six or maybe a week after uh mw3 came out and it was a lot of fun man i, I had a blast it was like team deathmatch and like domination and some stuff it wasn't really anything like hardcore competitive or uh, SND or anything like that, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, what's my plans for Black Ops 3? I already answered that. Future plans become pro, go to college, do something else in gaming. By the way, shout out to my boy Bananas, the homie. Uh, and bro, I message you all the time on Twitter asking when we're gonna play, and I used to say it's soon. Um, I went over that soon, definitely gonna start playing with subs. Um, like I said, just be on the lookout on Twitter and uh, become pro answered that go to college kind of answered that do something else in gaming possibly um i have no idea what the fuck the future holds so we'll see do i accept challenges not really sometimes i'll tweet it out that i need a 2v2 challenge or something like that but i don't know will you ever do gbs with fans i'd really like to play with you uh answered that already who's your favorite professional cod player probably fizzer just the way he plays just so entertaining uh especially on cod ghost with his smoke strats man that shit was so funny but um, super fun to watch play. Congrats on almost 10,000 subs. Uh, I was here from when you were at 5K. Literally been waiting for you to hit 10K. So thanks a bunch, man. Uh, do you plan on playing competitive in Black Ops 3 or in some other later COD? Um, yes. Going to be playing the fuck out of competitive. Uh, making a bunch of videos. Answered that already. Uh, if you were on a pro team, what team would it be? Uh, this is gonna be such a generic answer, but probably optic dude because uh, the endorsements and shit that you get out of that is just through the roof So why not who wouldn't want to be on optic 10k and black ops 3? What else are you excited for? That's a good one um, Just the overall vibe of like the Christmas time the holidays um, We got so many awesome games coming out uh, like I said 10k subs like Fuck, it's a, such a good time of year. I love the fall. I love that whole entire time frame from like October when you're super hyped for the new game and then the new game comes out that November. You grind and grind and uh, it's Thanksgiving and it's a lot of fun. You see a lot of family. Uh, leads up to Christmas. Christmas is so fun. You're out of school. It's just such, like an amazing time of the year. So I'm just excited to experience all of that. Uh, if you got the opportunity to be a COD Esports Pro, uh, would you take the opportunity? Um, it depends. I, I don't really know. Um, that would really, like, fuck with school a lot, and I take school real serious. Not real serious, but, like, it's important to me, and I'm trying to be somewhat successful, and, um, we'll see what happens in the future, but, uh, would I want to do that over school or anything? I don't know. That's a tough one, because I have no idea the longevity of COD Esports, so that could just fuck my whole life up if I were to like just completely disregard school and only do that, but at the same time it would be pretty cool, so I don't really know, we'll see um, if that ever actually was put on the table for me. How do you keep calm and not rage when you get bullshitted? Shoot, I spelt that in all caps and I'm too lazy to erase that and write it again. Um, that's, a, that's a good question and I kind of answered that earlier, but um, I just fucking sit there, keep looking at the fucking game, not try not to 
play any different and just be really aggressive like you can't like i said just don't get scared don't sit back um that used to be a real problem of mine like if you started losing like one or two rounds just keep playing aggressive you can't really uh start playing scared if you're down you gotta keep playing super hard super aggressive and you should be fine so uh if you weren't pro what team would you want to join optic like i said uh or would you want to start your own that would be pretty cool um i, I have no idea bro uh if i had to join one that would probably be optic what were your struggles in finding a decent team never really had a struggle with that um i know a lot of people do have a lot of trouble um I, I never really experienced that people just good players came to me uh, if you could pick five sponsors who would you pick well five sponsors <laughs> Astro because I love their fucking products um, probably Mountain Dew because Mountain Dew is fucking amazing they're sponsoring Black Ops 3 um, Asus um, Razer and the last one, probably Sony or like PlayStation or something. That'd be pretty cool. Um, how many subs do you plan on having by the end of Black Ops 3? Let's just try to go for 20K. Who knows? It might even be further than that. But um, I'm just going to slap 20K subs on there since we got to 10K at the end of Black Ops 3. Um, how do you conv I don't know, convince your parents to play video games? They're super chill today just because I have fucking straight A's and I do all my shit that's important in real life. And um, once I get everything out of the way, I do whatever the fuck I want. It's that simple. So um, as long as I'm doing fine with everything else, it's not really a big deal. Um, what would it take to get that PSN friend request accepted? 24K UMG, maybe we could fuck around in some dubs. Um, I try to accept as many friend requests as possible, but I have like 500 and something now. It's gotten to the point where I can't accept anything. And um, the best way, I think, I don't know if this works for my account or not, but uh, you can follow people on PlayStation now. So I don't know if that's still going to work, but you can give it a shot. Um, what is your aim for 2016? Like I said, hopefully I can uh, hit 20k subs by the end of that. Favorite pro player, Fizzerp. Uh, favorite COD of all time, uh, I couldn't tell you my favorite one, but it'd probably be um, MW2 or COD4, one or the other. I really love World at War 2. Um, have you ever thought of starting your own clothing brand? That's a very interesting one. I have really, I don't know what I would design because I'm not creative at all. Um, a lot of my videos are informative and kind of like... Like, I know a lot of people think that you have to be creative to be entertaining. I don't think that's very true. Um, people are like, dude, you're obviously creative. You're creating videos every single day. Um, that's just being productive. Like, I, I have, I am not creative at all. Um, I just do, like, the most kind of factual videos and informative videos that would help you and benefit you in some way rather than being entertaining so um or being creative rather so i don't know uh i if i really started my own clothing brand i have no idea what it would be but um good question so uh will you upload 100 and ogb series for black ops 3 yes i will do that and get those nade spots done quick i will get them out i just don't want to rush them but they are coming um where do you see yourself in competitive cod perspective i see myself as uh right now currently or if i wanted to be uh my goal is being the face on youtube kind of of esports like i i want to make myself the um the t martin i guess not the t martin and allier but like the 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 face of cod esports on youtube i know a lot of these pro players they're streaming and stuff and that's cool you can go watch them on mlg tv but when it comes down to it their youtube videos aren't exactly all that they don't put like 110 percent in that because they're focused on playing i'm not focused on playing all the time i'm totally out there for you guys and uh, i can just focus 100 percent on youtube will i ever do a face reveal here you go uh, I did a face reveal, not even a reveal, it wasn't like this big fucking thing, holy shit, this ugly kid's gonna put himself on the camera now, um, I just kept doing face cams since like 2013, and the only reason I stopped doing that was because my graphics, or not my graphics card, my processor and my computer kind of like partially shit the bed, and I, there was a lot of different things, I had a lot of computer issues and stuff, and I couldn't like uh, record my webcam and gameplay at the same time. 
but that's not a thing anymore so I can do a lot of uh, face videos if you really wanted to and uh, face cam like all the time it's up to you guys I just kind of don't do it anymore just because I think it takes away from the gameplay if you see my ugly ass face at the top right you're just gonna be looking at that shit 24 7 be like holy fuck this kid's ugly and um you're not gonna pay attention to the gameplay so I don't know um, do you think kids on UMG are better or MLG um, it depends who you play honestly I don't think I think a lot of the good players play both so I couldn't tell you uh, I think as far as XP though a little uh, UMG is a little bit easier than uh, MLG but uh, will you challenge Choel Mablor? I have no idea what the fuck that is. Do I have kneecaps? Yes, I have fully functional kneecaps. Uh, <laughs> if next year Infinity Ward makes Ghost 2, would you play it? Yes, because Ghost 1, a lot of people hated, but I still think it was an improvement on Black Ops 2. Go ahead, shoot me in the fucking head right now. Uh, plain and simple, how do you get better at competitive COD like GBs and wagers? Playing, just playing a lot, man. I played so fucking much in AW. I had like 2,000 hours played at the end of this game. So I was on all the time, and eventually you just get better. And experience is like the number one way to learn anything in life. So uh, keep doing Who that. Who is fatter? You or Denial Temp, aka Big Boy Blicky? Uh, probably me. I don't fucking know. How do you get your username? That's a good one. Is something random that him and his brother came up with. There you go. That's the exact answer. Um, I made a whole entire video on that. It was called "What Is a Semskier?" So you can check that out. Um, who, in your opinion, is the best COD player to graze Call of Duty? I don't know what you mean by graze. I'm not in fucking English class, but um, if I had to guess what that means, like represent, maybe I don't know. If that's the question, then Optic Nade Shot's probably the face of COD Esports right now. Um, are you a part of the Reptilian Brotherhood? Jesus Christ, man. These comments are fucking crazy. I see them every fucking video. Um, are you going to upload any different games like Fallout 4, Star Wars? Probably not. Like I said, 100% on Black Ops 3. Going to grind the fuck out of it. How the fuck have I not made it on top 5 plays? You haven't submitted anything that's made me like shit my pants. Um, there's a lot of submissions that I've seen that are crazy that I just, I see other ones that are even like phew, fucking mind boggling. Some of the shit and it's just crazy. Why aren't you following me on Twitter? Um, if I see you constantly in my mentions or like constantly saying like, I like the YouTube video from at Semskir or whatever. And I see all these likes and comments and stuff, then I do follow you. If I see your name all the time, I, I'm follow a bunch of people i'm sure a lot of you can vouch for me in the comments do you think that black ops 3 competitive will be based around the ma1 and also keep doing what you're doing and you could become big thanks um black ops 3 is gonna be your shit thanks a bunch bro um do you think that black ops 3 will be based around the ma yes um unless they change it i have no idea they did say that they slightly nerfed it and i think a couple weeks ago but I have no idea how true that is, and like, there's a bunch of different things that would matter. But um, if you're gonna go based around the, um, based on the beta, then if the M8 is anything like that, then that that gun will definitely be the uh, primary gun that everybody's running. Have you ever gone to a LAN event? I answered that earlier. Fruit Bowl. Dope question, bro. Um, <laughs> Nate spots on Black Ops 3 videos. Answered that. Being able to throw nades cross map helped your channel a lot. Hello, <laughs> well, AW was not a bad game at all. Just some shit was abused. I I agree. I don't think AW is that bad. Um, the rule set was trash. The fact that overkill, fast hands, and uh, IMR and all this other stuff never got banned is just beyond me. Have you ever been to a COD tournament? Did you compete or spectate? I've never been as a spectator, but like I said, I went to that MW3 thing a few years ago. Um, what are your opinions on the slow decline of Call of Duty franchise? Congrats on 10K. Thanks a bunch. Um, like I, I think I discussed this a little bit earlier, but um, I, I hope that everything comes back uh, for Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is going to be a huge game just because of the title alone. Black Ops 1 and 2 were humongous games, so I would think that Black Ops 3 will revive the series. I know a lot of people that don't really care for COD anymore that were actually still really excited for Black Ops 3. Um, I know some Destiny players that are even excited for that game, so I, who knows? Like, there's a lot of people that are like, COD's been shit for like the past two, three years, but this fucking game's amazing, so we'll see what happens I really hope COD does come back to the way it used to be I remember everyone was fucking playing that game would you like to team in Black Ops 3 I can't team with everybody man that's just a reality it's I can't 
but um, like I said go ahead on Twitter um, I'll tweet out and uh, hopefully invite you guys so uh, be on the lookout for that uh, what is your favorite nade spot of all time if I had to pick one it's probably the Detroit one at the trash can that was a fucking awesome nade spot